Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Previously, we unboxed these 915 megahertz whip antennas. Uh, we got a two pack on the one side that includes the extension cables, the IPEX extension cables. And then the Musi Works came just by itself there. We'll flash through the product pages real quick. But I want to test those head to head and also compare them to the stubby antennas you get with the Helltech V3 or the TT Go LoRa board. And then I also use these one point, they're 175 millimeter rigid antennas. And I've had really good luck with those. They're quite powerful. And then again, going head to head with the uh, whip antennas there. Yeah, that includes the IPEX extension cables. Two of those is $18, where the Musi Works antenna is $13. And it doesn't include the extension cable. But yeah, the whip antennas look like they have an advantage for, for uh, the comfort factor there. This is home base. It's got the 175 millimeter rigid antenna and I'm gonna be recording the screen on my phone running the Meshtastic app. I'm out in the field. Let's test the stubby antenna first. I'm about 275 meters, 900 feet, three football fields away from the house. I didn't wanna go too much further because I th thought I might start picking up hops and then that would ruin any of these measurements. They wouldn't be available essentially. So we'll do a trace route to 20A8. That's the home. So remote's on that side, home base on that side. And okay, so four decibels on the outbound. Okay, but you see it's reading signal to noise 575 there, minus 95 on the RSSI. Let's send a, a DM to 20A8. Hello, test one. Yeah, the signal to noise just dropped to 4, RSSI minus 98. Okay, so here's the rigid 175 millimeter antenna. Like I say, I've had really good luck with those. I'm in the same location. Let's do a trace route to 20A8. So remote, I was using the TT Go LoRa. Yeah, look at that outbound 5.5 decibels. And we see their signal to noise is 475. It's going to pop up though. RSSI is minus 94, minus 92, 6.5 on the signal to noise. That's looking pretty good. So 6.5 with the RSSI minus 92. I think that 175 millimeter rigid antenna comes out the best in all of these. You take a closer look at the video. Send the DM, got the DM through and stay at 575 at minus 95. Okay, so this was the generic 915 megahertz whip antenna that includes the IPEX extension cables, two of those for $18. We'll send our trace route to 20A8. Now it looks like we've already checked in at five decibels on signal to noise with a minus 97. Let's see how it goes on the, uh, okay, five. So that's a little less than the rigid antenna, five on the outbound there. And you see it dropped to 4.5 and minus 96 RSSI. Let's see if we can pop it back up with a, <laughs> with a, a DM there. Let's send a DM to see if that goes up again. Hello, test three. Yeah, I wasn't holding these up in the air or anything. I was just holding it like right here. Yeah, so this kind of stays at that 475. Minus 93 RSSI. Okay, last but not least is the Musi Works 915 megahertz whip antenna. These are great because, you know, the rigid antenna gets in the way when you're trying to stash it someplace and where the flexible antenna gives you a little more leeway. I'm at the same location, of course, and we're going to trace route to 20A8. Coming in at 5.25 signal to noise. And minus 92 on the RSSI. 5.25 on the outbound in the trace route. We'll send a DM. Yeah, the RSSI shifted a little bit there. So the whip antennas aren't quite as powerful as the rigid uh, one point. So the whip antennas aren't quite as powerful as the 175 millimeter uh, rigid antenna. But they seem better than the little stubby one. I'm sure if we had more distance, we'd see a lot more difference there. Yeah, so finishing at 525 on the signal to noise ratio and minus 98 on RSSI. So look for all the links down below. You can get the Helltech V3 with the little stubby antenna, the 175 millimeter uh, rigid antenna, 
that two pack with the IPEX cables or the MusiWorks whip antenna. All right. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go, watch more of my Meshtastic videos or my Meshtastic 2.6 on the LilyGo T-Deck. Please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.